is Guy Tang, and I'm here with my model and friend, Erin. Hey guys! So a lot of you guys on Facebook have messaged me and asked me to do a video on colors that lift color. And yes, the general rule is colors don't lift color, but there is an exception to that rule, and there's some colors that will. Introducing one of my favorites, Shorts Coffee Gora Royale Fashion Light. So there's six awesome shades, and we're gonna use most of them today on Erin. <laughs> Yay! And Erin is a natural dark blonde. As you can see, she's a natural level 7, but she is not a basic bitch. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> she likes short hair, and she likes red hair. Oh, yeah. So we're making a statement, and we're breaking stereotypes. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right, so as I open up Erin's hair, you can see her regrowth is a level 7. She has some old color, you know, that's grown out for some time, and some old highlights, so you can see it's very nice and stonewashed, but all in the copper family. So technically, um, even though I'm using fashion lights, what it can do is lift through some of these old colors over here, and I don't need a high volume. With fashion lights, you're supposed to use 40 volume to lift dark hair, but because she's a natural level 7 already, and you know, we just want to break through some color, we're able to brighten this some more. So I, I can actually go in with just 20 or 10 volume only just to deposit color and break through some of these old colors. Because traditionally, if you try to use copper tones, what's going to happen is it won't break through this color. But with fashion lights, you're able to. And that's when I use fashion lights, is to break through color and deposit color simultaneously without doing a two-step process. All right, guys, my first formula is Schwarzkopf Igora 7-17 with just 10 volume. And I'm just gonna apply this formula directly to the scalp area, because I want to create a nice shadow. And this color is pretty much an ashy copper, which is kind of contradictive. But the reason why I choose this color is because I want to mute the regrowth area. I don't want the regrowth area to be like bright orange, because that's not cute. I mean, unless that's the look you're going for. But I want to create a quiet tone. And anytime when you're mixing ash or anything that's ashy near the scalp, you mute out that tone. So I still want to uh, retain a lot of copper. And I'm going to do four quadrants throughout and apply this everywhere before we start doing the dimensional coloring. So the reason why I mix it with 10 volume is because with 10 volume is a deposit only um, and it gives a slight base break. Because if you're mixing with 20 volume, keep in mind that Aaron's a natural level 7, so this is a 7-17. If I use 20 volume, I'll be over lifting and creating a hot root, hot scalp, which I don't want. So using an ammoniate color, which is a permanent color, 7-17 um, Agora, you're getting a soft base break anyway from the ammonia in the color and we don't want to overlift that underlying pigment so that way her regrowth stays calm but you get that dispersion from the 10 volume developer no need for any higher and I'm going to do this throughout only at the regrowth area before I start highlighting so that way everything gets to process simultaneously all right, so my first formula is Schwarzkopf Igora 9-98, which is a violet red at a level 9. I only mix it with 10 volume, and because I only want to deposit, even though it's level 9, it's always going to appear darker because there's a blue tone in the violet, so it's going to appear more like a level 7. My second formula is Fashion Lights, and this is the copper. So it's going to be super orange. I mix it with 20 volume because... You know, that's all I need on level 7. Even though the instruction did say to mix it with 40 volume, that's only for when you're lifting levels 1 through 5, something dark, but we don't need that type of power on Aaron. And we got the Fashion Lights L-57. Okay, so this is a gold copper. So much fun. I love this. This is going to be our accenter. It's going to be our highlighter, something we need to bring out the length with. So you can see this is what that looks like. And then we got the L-5... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is L-88. So this is the red. So that is going to be cool. This is going to be what's harmonizing all the tones together. So let's get started. And this is with 20 volume 2.
up here, I'm going to use 9-9-8 at the regrowth area. I'm going to slide it down diagonally so they, there won't be a line anywhere. And then I'm going to fade it in to the red fashion lights going at an angle and then blurring some down because we don't want anything to be too even and too perfect. I just want to create like a jagged texture. And sometimes I go back in with the low light and just blur it right down on top of it just to give it more of a fused look. And then right beneath it, I'm going to go in with the orange, just blurring it right down within one foil. And it's going to look so powerful. It's going to look like a, a sunset off of the desert horizon. And it's going to be gorge. Okay, so the way we're going to fold this is shabam, shabam, and shabam. So nothing bleeds or smash into one another. Folding right over. And what I'm doing is a crisscross effect. So as you can see what's going on here. So we're crossing over that way. And be creative, guys. Um, there is no, you know, look at the hair and kind of see where do you want the brightness. And so I go like, you know what, this is where I want it. So um, the reason why I use color foils is so I could, it, it, it helps me indicate where I'm placing each color. Um, so when I'm using the brighter colors, I'm using the orange foils, and when I'm using the pink foils, I'm using the darker colors. So here's the orange going in first, just like that. And sometimes I feel like, you know, should I drag this all the way down? Uh, you know, this here, I'll drag that all the way down. So I'm gonna bring that tail up. And then on this side, I wanna see a little bit more copper gold. So I'm just gonna put the copper gold on this end because I can. And do I mind if some of them touch? No, because that's what makes it look like it tells a story. It has like that, almost like a stonewashed effect. Like your jeans, you know? Um, they look more lived in, not trying so hard. There you go. And I'm gonna go right beneath that one more time and slice. Okay, and here's the fun one. I wanna, I wanna make this one fun. So we're gonna do the low light of 9-8 once again, going in, and let's bring it down on this side, but not all the way down on that side. And then let's put some red on this side going all the way down, but then on this side, we're just going halfway down, just like that. And then putting that copper orange flavor on this side. It's all about being creative, guys. No one is telling you how to, to place them and do it. Just know what color does what and where you're seeing it. I love this. Okay, we're gonna do a three-fold. Like this, like this, and fold it over like that. And be careful not to smash it, just fold it gently on top of one another. Okay, then we're gonna repeat the same pattern till we're finished with our whole head. Okay. So I'm applying the gloss and tone on the outside from the mid shaft to the ends, and it's an acidic color. So you're gonna get a lot of shine. It's gonna close the cuticle. I don't need to put a permanent color through. I just want a deposit color. I want depth and richness throughout, and I don't need any more lifting. You can if you want to, but one of my things is preserving the integrity of her hair. So if I can make her hair healthier, um, you know, primarily on the outside of the base, I'd rather you know, opt to do that. So that's why I use the Demi Permanent Color all the time. I think I use Demi Permanent Color more than I actually use Permanent, permanent Color. You know, I use Demi Permanent Color when I tone. I use Demi Permanent Color when I glaze. I use Demi Permanent Color when I refresh. I use Demi Permanent Color when I want to um, blend away gray. So Demi, Demi Permanent Color is definitely my choice and my go-to um, and my arsenal. I use it more than I use Permanent Color most of the time. So unless you're trying to lift the base, you do not need to use a permanent color. Permanent color doesn't mean the color is permanent. Permanent color just means it permanently alters your hair because there's ammonia or something that shifts and lightens the hair um, and your hair will never return back to its normal state. And that's what a permanent color does to your hair. So that's the only reason why I'm using a demi permanent because when the demi fades out, it fades back out to what her color is already and it gives me a clean palette. It's something easier to work with the next time I work with Erin again. And it's simple, I apply it throughout quick and it spreads really easily. And I do love Vibrance uh, Gloss and Tone a lot. Those of you guys who follow me on Instagram will know 
that I use um, Blossom Tone by Schwarzkopf most of the time to tone most of my clients. You could tone it wet for 20 minutes. You can also do it on dry hair just like this to refresh and glaze. So it's up to you. Keep in mind that when you apply it on hair that's freshly bleached um, at the shampoo bowl, it's going to absorb quicker because it's more porous. But her hair is healthy right now, so when I apply it on her hair dry, you know, I'm going to process it for a full 20 minutes. I always feel like it's important to let the color process for its full time, so a full 20 minutes is what I normally do for the processing time. So we are processing Erin for 20 minutes to finish all the colors that's happening here and I'm going to answer some questions for you guys on Facebook. I asked you guys to kind of, if you have any questions about Schwarzkopf or the Vibrance or the Fashion Light series, let me know. And from Ursula Goff, okay, this is what you asked, how much lifting action on the Fashion Lights? How many levels and will they lift through color buildup or does it build up or does the buildup decrease vibrancy? And what level is best for maximum vibrancy? Like other brights or does it matter as much? Okay, so how many levels does it lift? It usually lifts up to five to six to seven levels depending if you're using 20, 30, or 40 volume, depending if the hair is virgin or if the hair has been colored. I use that on levels one to five usually, uh, with Erin being the exception because she likes doing reds. So on Erin I use 20 volume, and but most of your clients, if they're dark hair like myself and level three or something like that, I will use 40 volume to get maximum vibrancy. But if you want subtle hues, 20 volume, okay? Uh, let's see. How is the condition of the hair when using fashion lights? Because 40 volume is, seems to be drying to me. What other blonde toners are with their line? And this is by Brandon Lesperance. Um, again, the developer that the product recommend is 40 volume to get maximum vibrancy. Once you get to know the product and familiarize yourself with it more, you find that you only need 20 or even 30 volume. But Try it with the instructions, how the instruction says first, and then kind of tweak as you get familiar with the product, you know. And yes, there are some blonde shades with it. So let me show you the swatch book. Here, there is the L-00, L-44, which is like beige and natural. And so those are the two blonde shades, and there's golden copper, there's the copper, there's red, red, and there's the red violet. So there's six tonal flavors to choose from in this family. Um, I have used the blonde before, so if you guys haven't seen my great coverage video that I did on my mom, I actually used the blonde series on my mom, so check out that video, okay? I'll provide the link below for that video. So Lawrence Zap Paul asks, would you use this product as a color corrector for level one through six if it can lift up to five levels? It would be lovely to bypass the time uh, which is consuming using color extractors and pre-lightening dilemmas. Yes, it's great for people who has colored hair, like let's say she bought a box dye and colored it black. Could you use fashion lights? Absolutely. But remember, if she has a regrowth that's grown out three inches and her ends are black, that's a color correction. So what you have to do is balance the hair first. You have to choose, do I dye this part black too, or color this part black too, so it matches with her ends, and then go back in and highlight it. That's what you have to do is rebalance the hair. So no matter what it is, you always have to balance out the hair before you use fashion lights. Um, fashion lights is, is a gr it's a great weapon in our arsenal, but it's not your answer for color correction. Color correction is in another it's in the category of zone, okay? So I hope I answered your question, Lawrence. So Jason Gilbert asks, why would you use the L-00 rather than bleach? What are the benefits? Is it faster, healthier for the hair, yields better results? That's a very good question. And let me tell you what, I would use bleach or lightener if you're trying to get maximum blonde results and go back in and tone it. If you want more of a subtle, soft, butterscotchy results on level five, six, or maybe even four, then fashion lights is your answer. But if they have buildup of color, bleach is more predictable because you can continue lifting. So remember, again, this is a great weapon in your arsenal, but don't expect it to do all the things for you. You have to color balance first, okay? Okay. So Lori Lopez asks, when your client returns, can you reapply this color on the same strand, or can you use the pre existing color for a lighter red base with a semi. You know, definitely don't overlap the pre-lighting strands. You'll find that when your client comes back, the reds or the coppers 
sometimes it fades into a blonde tone, like a caramel tone. You don't want to overlap it. I would use a demi-permanent color, like the Vibrance Gloss and Tone, to glaze over it to refresh it. Um, you can, you know, lift the regrowth and then glaze the ends. Dimaggio Diaz asks, I would probably ask how it responds to resistant hair like mine. Most colors don't respond the same in my hair. And I have very coarse, heavy, wavy hair, and that's a problem. Yes, it will work with 40 volume. Trust me, try it, you're gonna love it. All right, we have another great question from Melissa Lazar Blake. And your question is, are you using the gloss and tone? Tell me what you think about the Schwarzkopf gloss and tone in regards to saturation color. I notice it pulls darker when refreshing fade outs, and the volume level is higher than most my permanent color developer. I'm interested in your feedback. I was super impressed with the glass-like reflectiveness after using this product. I can't wait to see your video. You know what? Um, Vibrance has actually two different Demi series. So let me show you the swatch here. Where is that swatch? Because that's a very good question. Here is the Schwarzkopf Vibrance swatch book. On this side, which is orange, is the alkaline demi, and on the purple side is the acidic demi. The acidic demi has a pH of 6.8, and this one has a pH of 10, which is very high. Why do you need an alkaline demi? An alkaline demi will shift the base, so it will actually lighten the natural hair slightly, just a shift, like half a level, uh, depending on how resistant your natural hair color is. It also gives better gray coverage, it also gives you more opaque coverage. So if you're using the 7-77 on this side, you're getting more of like a lipstick uh, coat. And this one's more of a lip gloss approach. And this is what we use on Erin because I want a mirror-like shine. And because it's 6.8 and pH, it's a lot more healthier for the hair, especially if the hair has been compromised and dem damaged. If it has been damaged and been through a lot of things, you would use this side. And honestly, I love the gloss and tone. This side is everything. And we use the 7-77, which is here. And so I definitely recommend this. And this I love too if you want opacity. If you want more, like, boom, pop, do it. But I'm all about the low pH of 6.8. So I hope that answers your question. Oh my gosh, guys! We are done with Aaron's hair. Red is sexy, don't you guys think? And you were kind of shocked too, Ariana, right? Very, very surprised. Really cool stuff, guys. You Check know, it out. Just in case you don't know who Ariana is, she is my makeup artist. She's fantabulous. And my assistant too. How would you go about doing makeup on, you know, like the eyeshadow on Erin when it comes on to Erin? Well, we were kind of feeling this like super empowered, redhead, short hair. So I wanted her to look like a rock star. She said it herself. <laughs> I feel like, rock, like rock and roll. Yeah. So we just did dark eyes. Look at her eyes, guys. She has beautiful <laughs> blue eyes. So I'm it obsessed was easy. with her eyes. <laughs> I didn't even know. I mean, like, I didn't even know her eyes was that color until you brought out, which is a key role. And you know, when when you have this color, it's so liberating. Don't you agree? I mean, like we're talking oh, about absolutely. we're talking about stereotypes, and we're talking about how how hard it is when you have short hair, red hair. We grew up with a bunch of where blonde, we, blonde. Yes. Yeah. Well, think about Cinderella. You think about Playboy. You think about Barbie. Barbie. We. We grew up with this and we are conditioned to believe this is what beautiful is. Girls gotta have long hair, or girls gotta have blonde hair, and everyone else outside of that is considered unattractive. And all of a sudden we're, we go, oh, well that's what boys like, that's what everybody wants to be, and the next thing you know is we're trapped in this little... Consumed by it. You're consumed mm -hmm. by it, and then all of a sudden everybody starts looking the same. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. it's important that we have, we can't, we're not afraid, and we should all express our individualism. And Ariana, yes. you're telling me growing up, you were kind of like made fun of for having oh, short yeah. hair. Oh yeah, I loved short hair from the get-go, so you, in high school, school you have everybody like oh long hair and then you have somebody with short hair of course I got made fun of but hey I stuck with it I still have short hair and never went back and you know what I mean it's not about people just feeling sorry for us oh, no. no it's about empowering yeah. the message we're saying you is like you if know I wanted you to feel sorry for me I would have gotten extensions long <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> what I love is that you own it and you too Erin you own it and Thank you. how do you feel about your new hair color I absolutely love it um you know it's just it's not basic and my personality isn't basic and I just think like Stereotypes are so in our head and it's it's within us to say I'm gonna break the mold I'm gonna choose to be different I'm gonna choose to refuse to just do what everybody else does and I'm gonna be me and I know for myself 
that's why I wear my hair red, that's why I wear my hair short. And I'm in my 30s, I've been wearing my hair short for more than 15 years, and I feel sexier today than I ever have. And so you were blonde. Awesome. You were blonde I when I first blonde. met you. Oh, <laughs> I've been blonde before, for sure. And you love being red and Absolutely. you like having short. And that's mm -hmm. the thing, guys, I think that stereotypes cause us to to try to be someone we're not because we're trying to make everyone happy we're trying to follow this road that everybody wants us to be and we're not ourselves anymore i want you guys to leave some comments below have you guys ever been trapped in a stereotype and people you want to almost be yourself but you can't because of stereotypes but you know what guys you can express yourself leave comments below okay. click thumbs up share it with your friends follow me on facebook instagram and periscope yes Love you guys so much, and don't forget to try this new Vibrance yes. Fashion Lights. Well, actually, it's not new, but it's new to you because you yes, haven't tried it. Yes, so try out. It's amazing that you can lift color with color and do color melt and all these different dimensions all at and once. Pay attention to what he says about the volume. Don't abuse the hair. Listen to it. Absolutely. <laughs> comments, comments. Bye, guys. <laughs>